Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In this video, I'm going to talk about why you should not buy the iCon and SE device right now. Yes, when there are a couple of reasons why I thought of making a video on this particular topic because right now there's a sale going on in the Amazon website for about 30,000 rupees. You can actually buy the iCon and SE device. And few users they want to buy this phone, but they're kind of really confused should they buy or not. The main reason is because of iCon Neo 6 5G, which is going to get released very soon on 31st May. As you can see, friends, on 31st May. The phone is going to get released, iQOO Neo 6 device. And that's the main reason why I'm asking you guys not to buy this device. So this phone is also really great, not bad. I'm using for the past more than 50 days and it's been really wonderful experience. But there are a couple of things you should know before you actually think of buying this device right now. So first thing is about the processor, which is a Snapdragon 888 processor. So which is present in the iQOO Neo 6 device. But this is slightly kind of uh, generating higher temperatures, right? We do know, not only in this phone, even in any Snapdragon 888 processor you take, the temperature will be slightly higher. That's a fact we should definitely understand. And during this summer time, the temperatures will be slightly more as well. If you see the Amazon reviews and ratings and everything, that will be two circumstances because of processor and because of summer situation as well. So the Snapdragon 870 will be present in the iQOO Neo 6 Snapdragon 870. That's the reason friends why I'm asking you guys not to buy this device and go, maybe wait for this device. So the 870 will be having slightly less heating problems, not like Snapdragon 888 processor. Because I've been using the iQOO 7 device for the past I think more than one year of time. If you ask me the temperatures difference between these both phones, 2 degrees, 2 to 3 degrees difference will be there every time. The difference between these both phones. So that's something you should know about the temperatures as well. So regarding the processor, Wait for the iQOO Neo 6 device. Next thing is regarding the charging speed and the battery backup. In the iQOO, ne iQOO 9 SE device, the battery backup capacity is of 4500 mAh of battery capacity which is present in this device. In iQOO Neo 6, which is about 4700 mAh of battery capacity, slightly more and better fast charging. This phone takes more than 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes, and iQOO Neo 6 is gonna take 35 minutes of time. Slightly fast, but slightly better battery backup. So battery backup is another area where it got really improved in the iQOO Neo 6 when compared with the iQOO 9 SC device. So these are the few areas friends where I thought of just mentioning. Apart from that, there's nothing much major difference you can notice in rest of the things. So not a huge difference, right? Nothing much huge difference you're gonna notice. Only these two areas are major things, and next third area is the price. If the price of the Neo 6, if it's kind of close to 27,000, then that will be really great. 26,399, that's what I'm expecting the price. But let's see, after using bank offers and everything, that is what I'm trying to talk. They might release for 30,000, but after using bank offers and everything, you might get for 27,990. So if that's the case, the price is advantage in this device and performance is advantage. I mean, not heating, less heating in this device, not uh, Android benchmark scores and not those, but only less heating problems and slightly better battery backup because Snapdragon 870 will not drain much battery and will not heat much. So that's something you should know about. That's, these are a few reasons friends why I'm asking you guys to wait for the iQOO Neo 6 and not buy this device. So even if you buy it, not an issue, that's kind of really good, no problem, nothing much, not much regret you're gonna feel. But if you do have any kind of heating problems in the beginning, maybe you can apply for a return and you can wait for this device. This phone is going to get released on 31st May. Meanwhile, signing off friends, thank you for watching. Until instead of more updates and bye.